Hello and good evening everyone. Welcome to Enigmatica 2 on the Simpleton server. How are you this evening? I'm doing pretty good. Hi Nisi, nice to see you. Hey Sapopa, you're here too? Hello? So we're here in my land of the gods. Um, it's starting to look really nice to me. Uh, I don't have a whole lot more in the way of building is concerned, but every time I approach this place from flying around, I'm really excited about how it's coming along. I know I only have like this section built up, but we're getting there. We are getting there. You know, it's, it's looking lovely. Um, let's see. I have not done any more progress on this tower. I swear I will at some point. We will be working in here today down at the bottom. I would like to get an environmental tech miner set up. So we'll need to start environmental tech in order to do that. So that is what I'd like to dig into today. But let me show you what I've been doing because you can probably tell there are some changes. First, if you remember last time, I pretty much, it would probably be considered rage quitting because I was getting stuck with, uh, resource um, or processing with mechanism and what was really getting me stuck was the sorter. I logged off going okay if no one online is gonna help me I need to go research this and come back and like within five minutes I had watched a quick video and figured out my problem. <laughs> So, currently, this is my ore doubling. We will eventually get to the three times ore processing for mechanism, and we will upgrade these. Currently, they're advanced. Yeah. So... <sighs> this is working. Um, let me explain it to you real quick. If you would like to know, the logistical sorter does all the work for me. It really, really does. So the ender chest here, this ender chest is hooked up to, if you remember in our rustic farm, there is the actually additions or minor lens that's just every like two minutes changing an ore. So, I mean, that's how slow our resource generation is at this right now, at this point. Um, it comes in here. Ooh, we have draconium dust to deal with. That, that'll give me something to show you guys. The logistical sorter sorts everything coming out of here. So we have a couple of filters, dark red, dark green, and dark blue, okay? Each one tells it to do something different. So we're gonna make one for this draconium dust and I've just been doing item stacks for it because it's easier that way. And we want this one to go red, right? Yes, this is dark red. All right, so if we were to put these in here, did I save it? Did I forget to save it? <laughs> that tends to be my problem. Yeah, I didn't click save. Boop. Dark red, save. There we go. Hmm, why am I getting cobble? That's the second cobble I've seen. We might, I mean, we need to go look at that. All right, so anyway, the logistical sorter says, take an ore, go dark blue, and get it, turn it into dust. And then it comes out here, everything comes out here and goes back into the chest. And then the logistical sorter says, oh, this is a dust, it needs to be smelted. So then it comes over to the dark green line and it smelts it. Oh, we're gonna see it right now. Then it goes back up into the chest and the logistical sorter goes, oh, it's a finished ore, so it needs to go to this ender chest, which is connected to our and Applied Energistics Network. So yeah, that's pretty much what it does and I'll just be able to expand this way with it depending on how fancy I want to get. Woo. I'm kind of concerned that I've not, that I got a whole bunch of cobble there, but. Hello, Darkwing. So that is ore processing fixed. Didn't take me long. The problem was that were that my mechanical pipes were set to pull and push. And once I just disabled them from doing anything and let the machines do that, everything worked. <laughs> so yeah, um, I have made a second 
compact machine. And if you're in my Discord channel on the Simpleton server, you've seen this already. This is my Cobbleworks. My Cobbleworks is probably over-engineered, I'm warning you now, but it works, so that's all I care. I'm doing pretty good, Darkwing. I am trying to find the motivation and energy to do something tonight, so I'm hoping I'll be able to come up with something. Alright, so here it is. <laughs> I decided to do thermal expansion for the Cobbleworks. It seemed the easiest, and I'm just using the Signalum infused item duct things because I've got a whole bunch of them from, a, from the quest's rewards. So I know that I could use different ones, but because I had over a stack of these, those are the ones I used. That's the only reason I'm using them. So, I'm sure some of you are probably asking why they're separate chains, and I'll explain to you why I have them as separate chains, okay? <laughs> First, this one does cobble, this one does gravel, this one does sand, this one does glass, and this one does silicon, which is actually the nuclear craft silicon, but it still works for any time I need silicon in a recipe, okay? They all go into one output chest here that goes into the AE network. The problem that uh, I have, if I had this as only a like, branching off of here, just one cobble gen and going off into the different setups, is that I have absolutely no way of, no easy way of telling these machines in this compact machine to turn off when I have enough of an item. Okay, so if I were to set it up that way and have everything go into the ender chest, the ender chest would just fill up with cobble, for example, and then I would run out of sand or glass or silicon because the ender chest couldn't accept anything else. So in order for me to make sure I was getting all the different resources, I split them up into different little mini factories. I am trashing flint because there's a recipe to craft flint out of gravel, so I'm not keeping the, fl the flint. Some people might, I'm not. Um, and then I have this ender chest hooked up to my AE network, and it is storing it for me. This will run forever. It doesn't have an on off. Just It'll just run and run and run. These are all the basic machines. I don't have them upgraded and for now I probably won't because again I'm not a power user. I, I'm not somebody who builds gigantic factories of huge things. If we've been to Edward's base numerous times he needs the advanced upgraded super fast mega stuff. I don't and I'm cool with that. So we'll pro this is probably all I'll need. If I need more, I can of course upgrade these or I can, you know, upgrade them and add augments or whatever. But for now, it works and I'm happy with it. So this is my cobble gen. <laughs> I'm not quite sure anything else I need from the cobble gen. I was considering stone, but I think I'm gonna get stone from the environmental tech miner. So, yeah, the resource miner, so I don't know. This will eventually be a building. This is a general footprint of what the building's gonna look like. And then there's gonna be a path coming this way, going down underneath that'll be in here for the grotto that I'm gonna build underneath here. So that's kind of the plan for that. And I'll, I should be working on this relatively soon because then this building and all the rest of them will be here and then I'll just need to add details to them all and this side of the island will be done. So as far as tech is concerned, what have I been working on? Well, it's a mishmash of stuff because I'm having to learn as I go. Usually Edward is the one that does all the AE stuff, so for now everything's just kind of slapped wherever it can go. Um, but this is our input from the cobble gen. This is our input from the ore doubling. Okay, and nothing else has really changed here other than I've started doing some auto crafting and process crafting. So up here is where I've got my AE automation and black hole storage. 
Here is the stuff we're getting from the cobble gen. They're in non-upgraded drawers that just have voids on them. So yeah, they're just getting trashed. I currently have it set up so each one has its own external storage bus, but if I need these channels for some reason, I can just put a drawer controller here with one storage bus and reduce five channels to one. Yeah, so that that's really, I could do that. That's, let's plug that hole. Blue. So that's what I have so far. Um, they're frame drawers, so they've got the marble with the um, mineral border. So I thought they looked nice. And I have room for two more. I'm not sure what I would put there, but I have room for two more. And then over here, I have started setting up the advanced inscribers. Um, I think the only, I only have this one actually hooked up. The others are not hooked up yet, but they're in place. If we go through here, you can see I'm using the purple line for the machines here. This blue one is actually for down below with the um, storage disks and the terminals. So that's what this is, blue cable. The purple is going to be this with the machines. So we've got the different scribers that need to be hooked up with interfaces and this gap is to put import buses and then we've got this automated. I've got my puddle automated. Um, so there's an interface back here for the different pure crystals. And then over here I've got an energetic infuser. This is for making charged surge quartz. Woohoo! So instead of using a charger, which I couldn't figure out how to automate, you know, more than one at a time, this will do it. And I have it set up back there with a um, interface. And then this pulverizer is for, you know, doing the dusts. And I just chucked a Extra Utilities RF Tools battery with an RF transmitter to for these these two machines. I may have other machines here. I think you can hook up six machines for each um, wireless transmitter. I think. Something like that. So that's what I have for that so far. And then up higher. Up. Go up. So the brain is currently a mess. It's going to look nicer once I have more ME controllers. I plan... Whoop. I plan on making the ME controllers a ring that goes all the way around the outside. So all of these cables that stretch in further won't do that. I will cover them with facades at some point. And this crafting storage is not going to live here. I, like I said, I just chucked it down somewhere. So <laughs> yeah, I don't have the crafting computer set up yet. So. This is, like I said, just a mishmash of stuff until I get a whole bunch of the controller so I can make a ring that goes around and it's going to have the sods along the bottom and probably along the top. So it'll just be a glowy ring inside this area. And then up above, this is where my current auto crafting is. My crafting computers will go up here too. I have plenty of space. so. That, that's what I've been doing in between. <laughs> that's really it. The only recipes I currently have in here um, are for making more AE stuff. It's always a good place to start. So, yeah. So there we go, folks. That's that's what we've that's what I've done on my own. I the all of these cables you're seeing, by the way, I've been cheaty with. All of these cables, I went over to Edward's base. <laughs> went over to Edward's base and went, I'm, I'm, yeah, if you've got all this automated, I'm gonna just make a bunch of them as I need them. So every time I wanted a different color, I went over there and grabbed a stack. <laughs> well, he's the one that said, you can, you can have anything you want from my base. I just, I'm being transparent with you and letting you know, I didn't craft all those. <laughs> Because the crafting recipes for those, yeah, I haven't, yeah, I haven't done that. So, 
And then the what the dense smart cables, those are the light gray. Yeah, so I didn't do those. That's okay. I'm cool with it. We're fine, right? <laughs> I think that's all I've done. I'm pretty sure our power is still doing all right. I haven't seen it fluctuate or anything. Um, we can go take a look. Why did I get teleported all the way over here? Okay, well, I must have looked at it. All right. True, it's not like I'm not going to make my own. I will make my own. I just wanted it to get started. You're right. So, you know, we have this ethylene setup, remember? And yeah, it's doing fine. It makes 1200 RF a tick. I'm only using that much. Yep. <laughs> Um, we also have the free power from that RTG from Nuclear Craft, and we also have the canola oil still running. Although I'm not sure the canola oil is still running now that I think about it. Um, because I'm not sure it's chunk loaded anymore. I think it's too far away to be chunk loaded. Like the chunk loader I have over there. Anyway. We have a couple of mechanism wind turbines in here that I got for a reward. I'd like to get them placed somewhere, probably in a rustic area, um, just because they won't fit into the land of the gods. No tech really fits into the land of the gods other than trying to get the AE to look somewhat magical, I guess. <laughs> So yeah, that's that's what I have so far there. Um, I have notes. I am working on. Let's see, I'm just crossing off AE automation stuff. The only thing left on here is getting a source of nether quartz for the AE stuff, and that is where the void ore miner comes in. It's what we're going to be working on next. Is I don't know how to get into that, so we're going to have to do that. Um, I'm gonna head over to the rustic things. I think I have a book. I think I have a tablet or a book or something. We're gonna look and see what we've got. None of those are environmental tech. So maybe I don't have. Um, okay. So maybe we need to look at the quest line. Is there an, yep, there's an environmental tech. Well, there's, have a, oh wait, let's turn that in. I like loot crates. Ha ha. <laughs> All right, so environmental tech, yeah. We need to unlock this stuff. We can start working toward through this so that we can get our Void or Miner Tier 1. This is what we're going to be working towards tonight. Uh, you don't think miniaturizing them will help? What are you talking about, Darkwing? Trans oh, Industrial Craft 2. We get to work on, we get to play with that at some point. Okay. So since we didn't need that, the wind turbines, oh yeah, no. Um, I need to make an energy cell, an RF tools energy cell, and it might be worthwhile to put them over here. I was going to put an industrial, no, immersive engineering windmill here as decoration but we can put I can put the wind turbines up here it's not super high but it's high enough that it should you know give me better return for the wind turbines like I said I'm not sure this canola farm is within range um who knows because I think the only chunk loader now is over there I don't think I have one over here Anyway, how's this doing? 
I know this isn't chunk loaded, otherwise this would have saplings laying everywhere, and it doesn't. All right. Do 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 do. Aha! Welcome to Environmental Tech. This mod features large multi-block machines like the Solar Controller and the Void or Miner. These multi-blocks can be automatically assembled if you right-click with the assembler on the controller block. You wish to build the structure for it. It'll tell you the materials you need. Once materials are all in your inventory, right-click the controller with the assembler again, and it'll build your structure. In order to progress, you will need tons of lithorite. To start off with, use that to build your first void ore miner, which will mine lithorite, and the next tier crystal for you. Um, well, where do we get lithorite if we... Oh, I guess I'll have to... Great. A structure frame block needed to make tier one multi blocks. All right, well, let's head back to the land of the gods. One day I'll make this tunnel look really cool. figure out some crafting all right structure tier one structure block needs interconnect all right and this litharite which okay I can craft to get started I see I'm going to need some lime dye well, I know where I'm going to be getting that. Um, how many do I need for the quest? One. Probably need more than this to make the structure. Does environmental tech have a book? Do do do, I don't see one. Didn't it used to? Anyway. Yeah. There's the assembler. Oh, there we go. Search digital guide in JEI for the in-game guide. It's digital. There it is. So we need a litharite crystal and a book to get the guide. That is definitely going to be something I want to do. So let's do litharite crystal. Yep, okay, so. <laughs> Lime dye, guess where I'm going. Yep, we're off to Edward's base. Lime die. Great. pretty all right I should have grabbed a book while I was there um, string and paper and it's the sugar king well, I have a little bit all right 
Lither, litter, litherite. We need to make. Oh, is this a different color? Nerds, it is. <laughs> That's okay, because you know what? I have cactus. I have cactus. So let's go smelt these. This is probably where I'll upgrade stuff first so that my workshop has really fast equipment. <laughs> This is the only downside of using compact machines is that it takes a second for me to, you know, cross dimensions to load up the overworld again. I mean, it's something that I knew I'd have to deal with, with the way I wanted my base to be magical, not techy, and yet I wanted to learn tech stuff. <laughs> All right, so there's four. We're going to need more than four because we need the book. And then to make the book, it's three paper and a piece of string, thanks to the Roots mod. And then in order to get the guide, there we go. And then the structure block requires us to do a bunch of the interconnect tier one, this thing. Black concrete or modifier components, which also requires. Well, this makes four. So I need to make some black concrete powder. I don't know. I don't think I have black dye. Oh, uh, have I killed any squids recently? We may need to go on a squid killing spree. Wither Ash, Medboop, Peak, no. All right, let's go, let's go kill some squid. Watch them not spawn. <laughs> Hello. Gives us three. some black dye. Alright. Concrete powder. Um, you. We just do eight to start. And so we need to do structure, block, interconnect, Are either of these different prices, I wonder? So that needs four, that needs four. This one's more expensive. 
simply because we need to smelt this or do the fluid. Oops. The fluid thing. I have um dehydrator hydrator. There we go. Should probably change where this drops us off. All right. Structure blocks, interconnect. This one, we make one for now. All right, so there's the quest complete. Um, yay. Next, we get a loot chest, okay? And then this actually is unlocked now. The void ore miner gathers materials such as iron ore, glowstone, and ET crystals. Its laser needs line of sight to either bedrock or void. The higher the tier, the faster it runs. Certain ores can only be obtained from the highest tiers of ore miner. Uh, okay. Wonder what limitations there might be. All right, so if we look at the digital guide, we want the void or miner. Okay. We need 24 of the structure frames, 20 structure panels, two laser cores and a clear laser lens plus the actual controller so that's what we're gonna work on so let me write this down we need 24 of the structure blocks right that's what these are structure frame and then we need 20 panels And then we need two laser core, one lens, and let me write down the controller just in case I don't be silly and forget. Okay. Woo. Let's open our loot chest. A revolver. Great. Uh oh, what did I just put in here that I didn't want to put in here? I just shift clicked something in there and I don't know what I did. Oh, I probably put that in there. Okay. Let's do this. For 24 structure frames, I'm going to need 24 black concrete. Concrete. One, two, three. Great. Um, let's go wet these. With the cyclic hydrator. Fluid transposer? Probably, but I don't have any water in my fluid transposer. All right. 
right. That's the only reason I haven't just done my fluid transposer. I could probably move my hydrator over here. It makes more sense over here. But anyway, interconnect. Um, these, which required four each of these. Start with that to make these. Why did that only do one? There's 18. I need more. Now I know why manually crafting these is silly. I think it's these. There we go. 24. Okay. So we need to make a bunch of this. We need two per. So we need 48 of these. I was going to say, I don't think I have that for flint. Because I'm trashing it all. Oh. Alright. Let's do this again. I used up all of my green dye. I'm going to have to go get more. So there's 11 so far. And we need 24 of these. So let's go back over where I've got um, cactus. Collect you. some. Okay. I need to find a different way to fast travel. Um, I think I'm just waiting until I can do it via astral sorcery. Should work on that. I haven't done any astral sorcery in a while. Maybe after we get the environmental tech miner up, it'll be time to do some astral sorcery. Oh, darn it. Smelt this. Edward has reported his first score of the evening. It is a 161. And he said the lanes are terrible. So that's that's awesome. He's really close to sticking around the 200 mark when we're at practice. It's just we practice at a different bowling alley than he does his league and that bowling alley the lanes are known to be a lot harder that their particular house pattern is more difficult than where we practice the only reason we don't practice where he does his league is because it's not in the same city so traveling there just for practice isn't um 
feasible. They're also more expensive, so we go where it's cheaper to practice. <laughs> Since you have to pay for every game, and he plays six games for practice twice a week. Yeah. With the right... That gives me a bit more, which the structure blocks now. 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Arg, we need more grain dye. I'm gonna have to just go to Edward's base. What do we need for these panels? Apparently they're in here somewhere too. Okay, so these I can I can whip those out pretty quickly. Um laser core. Yep, I can do those. And then the lens itself. Just glass. And then the controller is. More lithrite. Oh boy. Man, making this first one until you can have a void or ward or miner that actually will collect lithrite for you. That's a lot of manually crafting lithrite. <laughs> These blocks are the pavers, which are nine. Goodness. Okay, so. <laughs> Yeah, all right. And then you need a crystal lens as soon as you have enough materials. A crystal lens? A lens that'll get us whatever the next crystal is? Is that what you're saying? I have to look that stuff up. Green. Green dye. While we're here, let's get some more lime. Because I just have this feeling I'm going to use it up. We could just... <laughs> could just take the lithrite. <laughs> Screw it. We're taking a stack of lithrite, too. I could also make a cactus farm, but why make a cactus farm when Edward's got bees running? <laughs> yeah. All right. So you're not having to run to his base constantly? Well, he could fix that. And there's something I could ask him for a um, wireless controller. <laughs> then I could use it from here because they have the, um, the infinity, the infinity, this dude, the infinity booster card is craftable and um, he's got this stuff so he could he could just log on. He's not been on in like a couple of weeks, though. He's been playing Fallout 4 again, so... Yeah. Alright, so we needed two, four more, three more structure frames. And for that, what all were we short on? Yep, I have to have one for my network and one for his. Yep! Alright, and then we need the panels which we need 20 of so I need 20 connectors and I think I already have four yep and then um, what is greedfall Nisi
Oh, I might need to do that too. this again. Four more. Alright, so there's 20 of those. Check that off. Two laser cores and a lens. Let's do the lens first. RPG with multiple factions you can side with. Combat. Huh. Clear lens. Great. Then I need lens laser core. I need more of the interconnect or connectors. One, two, okay. Sapopa just finished the story mode in GTA 5. Awesome. I enjoy watching people play that. I watched Edward play it a lot when it first came out. He hasn't really picked up console games in a while. In fact, he said when our PlayStation 4 dies, that's it. Okay. That's not accurate. He has a Switch, so he's been playing the Switch a lot. <laughs> okay, so we just need to make this controller and the assembler. Controller. Let's do this. What do we need for this? Oh, it's going to take one of these clear lenses, so we're going to need to make another one. We need to make another interconnect. Um, do we have everything we need for it? No. Um, your Xbox One is basically a multimedia machine. Yeah, that's what our PlayStation 4 is. It's just for streaming. Got that. Make a diode. We need to make these um, blocks. I don't remember how many I need, if these will count. There we go. Now we just need an assembler. Do I already have one of these? I don't think so, because it needed a litharite crystal. There we go. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Count a jar. Woo. All right, let's put the die away. And let's go. Oh, wait, I need to make a power cell. I need to make one of these. And a linking card, which might need the paper. Okay, and we're going to need, um, Another ender chest. Ender chest. What do I need for this? Okay. I need wool, four of you, and one of you. Okay, and then I need to find out what colors I used 
in the one that is over there. So let's find out. Zelda's Breath of the Wild is awesome. I've not played it myself. Again, I really enjoy watching people play most of those types of games. So I watched Edward play it. It's blue, blue, white. Okay, that's what we're going to need to make the one because that's the input into the network. Hello? Uh oh, come on, there we go. Lapis, we need two of you. And a diamond. Okay. I think we have everything. I need to go over to the power cell and right click on it. Did I click the wrong thing? There we go. Um, I ne didn't watch him play Mario's Odyssey, so I can't say what that's like. Alright. Alrighty. So what I would like to do is access down here somewhere. Alright. We'll have to get rid of this water. Uh, yeah. You first. Got a lot of water to get rid of. Okay. So. I don't know how big this one is. Seven by four by seven. One, two, three, four. Okay. Where are you coming from? Start with this. This is not quite enough space, but I'm getting there. All right, so then we also need to go out here one, which we're going to encounter more water probably. Oops. Might be more fun to do this a little lower down, won't it? Can I reach you? No. Let me in. Oh, step assist, you turd. Oh, 
Getting there. Seriously, though, not without fighting. Okay, so there's a start of the space we need. should, huh? You really should play Minecraft. Only if you want to. I'm not gonna make anyone. <laughs> I'm just one of those weird people that play only Minecraft. <laughs> weird, weird person. Right here. Well, take care, Nisi. Thanks for hanging out. I appreciate it. Okay, so this is three. I need to go down at least two more. I've been pretty busy myself. I would prefer to have more time every night to be doing something with Minecraft. But I just don't. I don't have it. Two, three, four. We need to go one more. And um, I've even had to reduce my stream schedule a little bit. Simply because I'm so busy with my work stuff right now. And I don't expect the holiday season to make it any easier on me. So, um, I've just been focusing pretty hard on work. I'm, I'm to the point that I'd like to be making more money, and the only way to make more money when you own your own business is to work more and produce more income streams. So, yeah. Well, take care, Darkwing. Thanks for hanging out. i put you there. And... Why do I have so much stuff? Okay. All right, put you there. And then I should... Dang it, I didn't make another lens like I intended to do. I need to make another lens first or it won't finish making. All right. We need to make one of you. Well, this is a crystal laser lens. No, I need just a regular. Okay. Then it's up down here. And... Is 
assembled true. So apparently it's assembled and so now I just need to get underneath it so that I can dig down to bedrock with it. Where is the... right there. There we go, bedrock. Ah, and I'm being blinded. <laughs> okay. We're all set. Now, we're going to put the power cell on. Can we put it on the side? and have it work. I don't know. Um, I'm not sure. Oh, we need to configure this one first. That's what that diamond in the lapis was for that I put in here. Diamond, blue, blue, white. Yep. Me there. Smart wrench. Actually, let's just set it all to out. There it goes. Now I have no idea if I'm making enough power to sustain this. I would say no. Because this is still continuing to go down. 5,000 RF a tick. No. Oh, and see, I'm getting ores that I'll need to... That I don't have programmed to do anything with. Okay, good to know. Um, I think what we're going to do here is set all sides to none. And let that run out. We got our first lithorite crystal. And go back up here. I'm gonna leave that open so that we can go down there. And we need to improve our um, pow our power down here. So to do that, we need to make more turbines. I just need to see what, what I have to look at this again, because it's been a while. Yeah, I just need to make more turbines. I only have the one. More turbines equal more power, right? Gas, turbine, controller. I think filters improve things too. Gas turbine controller. Fuel air mixer. Up to 50 turbines. Let's go make another turbine. This one is manulin. Yeah. Okay. Manulian, Manulian. Okay. 
Let's see what we need to do that. To make more of these. Do I have any of that in here? Sure. Vibration chamber. Uh, yeah, I remember what that is now. Let's look at this again. Alright, so we have those bits to make one of those, so we just need the other things, like the iron frame. We need two of those, so we got that. And we need the turbine rotor, which we have a little bit of manual in. We need more manual in. Uh, cobalt. Look at all the garbage in my inventory. Ardite. Let's go smelt these. Um, I think we can even do these in the induction smelter. Don't think we need to use tinkers for it. Uh, I should probably see about pulverizing them first. I think you can double these. Yep. Oh. Do, 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 get those in there. Definitely want to speed these up. Now, if I remember correctly, you should just be able to do this. Is there a way to upgrade those? We're gonna need dimensional shards and an infuser or something like that with the RF tools. Because I think that's the, the advanced one is the next one up and I can't do that without infusing it. I believe. Let's see if we have that. Yay! We're gonna make a second one here. It produces 1200 RF, just the one. So we should just be able to tap this on because um, advanced generators, the multi blocks can be any shape. So let's go over here. And get it placed. Bloop. And miraculously we can now make 2400 RF a tick. So we're gonna go turn the uh, thing back on.
Sorry, Edward sent me a cute little gift that I had to see. <laughs> All right, so if we turn you back on and keep an eye on you, see how you do. First you fill up the laser, but will you recover? I suppose I should look at the guide to see how much power it uses. Cause it doesn't say, does it? it? Just says provide a decent amount of energy. It's still going down. I'm gonna need to make more turbines. Um, let's look at advanced generators. Let's look at the air. Um, the air filter thingy that I saw it could have. Increases fuel efficiency to 135%. That'll be helpful. Uses less, it'll use less fuel then. Gas mix compressor increases fuel efficiency to 185%. So if we install this and this, wonder how hard these are to make. That's not hard. What's this? Not hard at all. Okay. And I'm sure we can do some lower turbines. Well, that's not. Gold, bronze, steel, and dirium. Well, we haven't got that. We'll have to do the manulin. This is going to keep going down. So we'll do none again until we can get our power taken care of. And it looks like we have some things that we're going to need to sort with the logistical sorter. I need to find out how to best process these that are coming in um, with machine. The enrichment chamber gives me 12. That's nice. I'd have to get an enrichment chamber in there. Ooh. Okay, so... Yeah, up we go again. We are going to need to go get some more manulin in order to run that. We're not going to do that right now that away. Whoop, I want my buckets. Give me my buckets back. That. Um, put the digital guide here for now. Let me jot down on another notepad. We're going, to, I'm going to need to make um, more turbines and the air fuel filter thing to improve fuel efficiency. Before we can turn on the environmental tech miner again. But we have it and that's fantastic. Cause I'll be able to get more things now. That'll be great. There's even more things I need to sort in it, so woo. Um, it is almost time to feed the cats. I'm so surprised that Hermes is asleep. Oh, he's not asleep. He's not asleep, but he's chilling. He might realize in a moment that it's getting close to time. So I think what I'll do is I will go and feed the cats, and when I come back, We'll take a look at Astral Sorcery and see what our next step in that is and see if we can't do some more progression with that. So don't go anywhere. I'm going to take my quick five minute break. I will be right back. <laughs> 